How do chaps? Welcome along to the vlog. It's actually the evening of uh, Monday, I forget the date. Uh, May the 4th actually, yeah. Uh, I thought I'd come around here and show you all the hard work that we've done on the beer garden in the past half a week or so. Uh, we've absolutely smashed it. Okay, so you may recall folks that uh, this bed ran all the way along there and joined up with that bed over there that you can maybe see when the camera decides to focus there we are so we've moved 11 or 12 cubic meters of soil out and put them in this area that we've blocked off so uh, I've laid all these blocks around the edge to contain it we've got another pile of blocks over there to finish that section off and we've got a pile of blocks here to finish this section off. So if I kind of back up and zoom out a little bit, you'll be able to see all the work that we've put in. So this is going to be a slabbed raised patio area. We're just going to use the Riven, I think this is York stone, I'm not sure. It's proper stone paving, but uh, you can see it's all stacked up there. We'll be using that to pave the top of this. We're waiting on some limestone to be delivered. Uh, we've whackered this, as you can tell, to get it kind of level. And when the limestone arrives, we'll do the same with that. And then we'll be bedding these slabs onto some cement, sharp sand cement mix. Dot and dabbed, if you know what I mean. So this section here is going to act as uh, a ramp, so we don't have any steps. Kind of give us uh, wheelchair access, pushchair access, pram, you know, whatever else. If people need to get up onto there. I'm hoping we've left enough space in this section for the other large table. We've got three of these big tables. I think there's enough room. We've opened up another section there, so we've actually gained seating space from that slab to the wall. And then kind of uh, from the end of that block to the wall. This is all gained seating area so we'll have a little bit more capacity uh, as you can see we've got all the benches stacked up over there we will be a few slabs short but i'm hoping i'll be able to get a pretty close match as you can see like i said they are uh, real stone they're not concrete they're really quite strong slabs as well this is what's going to be left of the flower beds as is that section over there so we'll have two flower beds in the garden full of plants that attract bees and butterflies again this will be a ramp up here i've got rid of most of the rubbish and rubble because there's a lot and then one more project is to get rid of the step here somebody actually broke their leg on this so we're going to get rid of this step we're going to take it back to here where my foot is to about there hopefully that's going to allow us to put a ramp into the bottom of that door and then when it's all finished we'll be installing railings around the edge a little bit like what we've got on the uh, side of the canal there but without the HB logo I don't think we need that this time but that's what I've been up to for the past week or so while we've been waiting for components for the um, can filling machine to arrive so uh, we've actually got some solenoids come in today, so if I've got time, we'll go home and uh, I'll stick, if I've got time, a little bit of footage of me playing around with the, uh, the can machine, or maybe we'll leave it to another day actually, because it's getting on. I might film that tomorrow for you. We'll see, but depends how much time we've got left, because tomorrow we're gonna pull this out and we're gonna block it up, get rid of this timber. So the reason we've pulled all this timber out in the first place I may have mentioned it before and just close the gate the timber that was in there well they're not sleepers as such now they were just untreated large chunks of timber and as you can see they really are quite rotten and they've got this kind of white thread fungus growing all over them I don't know what it is if anyone knows what it is let me know but all it's done is just eat away 
all of the uh, block work and it's just well you can see just absolutely flaky gone here's a good example of what it does looks almost like it's been burnt but you can see it's just fallen to pieces horrible stuff this is like a thread fungus of some type I don't know anyway that's it folks I'm gonna wrap it up and uh, yeah, well, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.